All right, nope. Mustang Evolution, interviewing Kenny Brown, Mr. Uh, Expert Mustang. Well, thank you. And a uh, beautiful car behind us. This is the uh, the GT4T twin turbo, 4.6 liter. Nickname Mango Tango. Mango Tango. I name all my cars. I love that. Uh, it's called Mango Tango because it takes two to tango and there's two turbos underneath it. That's perfect. Perfect. So dual meaning, it's all good. Color, perfect. So uh, your your history for Mustangs goes way back. Actually, 25 years with Mustangs this year. Uh, it started back in 86 when I transitioned from doing full-time racing, professional racing, to helping a, a fledgling uh, car guy in California start a race team by the name of Steve Saline. I think I've heard of him. Yeah, and in uh, two years, we took it from a, a fledgling startup to 1987. Uh, we won all four national championships in the uh, SCCA's Escort Endurance Series. That's excellent. So that, that's kind of the foundation of everything I do Mustang in those, those two years. So a winning start and the tradition's continued? Uh. <laughs> yeah, and, and what I've done over the years now in Mango Tango, we've got our new GT4 suspension and it's the fourth generation of my advanced geometry suspension system since the Saleem. So you could, you could say that the DNA that's in this suspension started in 86 and 87 with the Saleem championship cars. And it's evolved from there? It's, it's total evolution. Uh, I call it evolution of intelligent design because I put a lot, of, a lot of effort into the actual geometry and how things work to maximize power con contact. But the latest version is just absolutely a dream to drive. I can't wait. I'd love to get a sample of that. Actually, um, who was it that said it was the best street car they've or track uh, car they've had? Pete Eppel. I I taught Pete Eppel, who was the editor at, at uh, Mustang, no Mus Muscle Mustangs, and he was a drag racing guy like everybody else at Muscle Mustangs. And I taught him how to road race, or at least track drive at VIR, under the uh, I mean uh, Evan Smith, who is the editor for Muscle Mustangs, insisted that I teach Pete because I taught Evan. And in two days driving uh, my M69, which had all the prototype suspensions on it, he declared it in print the most amazing car he's ever driven, which was kind of cool. Plus, he ended up being, turned out to be a really good driver. Yeah. <laughs> Not, uh, that's that's a uh, very good testimony. And you were saying uh, about a track event where a certain Chevy Corvette Z06 Yeah, that was went actually down. At, at VIR, Pete, on his second day, uh, was able to chase down a, Z, a Z06 Corvette in my M69 it had just a stock 36 or 463 valve intake exhaust tune you know 385 rear wheel horsepower couldn't catch him on the straightaways but he kept catching him up in the twisty bits and one time he actually the Corvette broke and he just drives straight down underneath him and broke like 50 yards down the track and once he got in front it was the it was, it, I think it was the highlight of his career. Yeah, that sounds awesome. It's, that just proves it's all about the, you know, the chassis is more important than the motor. Definitely. Although this latest, this latest foray, what we're doing is our, my first trip into, my first step into doing our own power adders. Historically, I've used other people's superchargers, and superchargers are not that good for track because they generate a lot of heat and they're heavy. And now all the weight's in the wrong spot. So we got together with a young lad up in uh, Green Bay who's very talented uh, with turbos. Uh, I named a loop, and I, I laid out what I wanted, and he pretty much has done it to the T. And that's essentially more European style, where you use two small turbos tucked up tight on the exhaust manifold. <clears throat> the only the only weight addition in front of the axle line is the intercooler, which is pretty big. We did a custom one, and the, the beauty of this is it makes 550 horsepower, smooth as silk. The, the, the power curve is just absolutely linear. And after 20, 25 minutes of hard driving on track, we popped the hood, shot the intake tube, and it was 85 degrees. No kidding. So I think we've got to wear it. This is a prototype. The 4.6s will be available in the spring of 12. And then we have the uh, five-year Coyote under development. We'll use some of the same parts. But <clears throat> with the Coyote, we couldn't use the stock manifolds. The turbos hung too low. So we're casting up manifolds, which is why it's going to take a little bit longer. But that should be 550 in this base model, and then if we change some internals and motor, you know, 750, 800, you know. Something, wow. You know, you know, how fast can you afford to go? Exactly, you know? exactly. And that's for track or street? The track or street. And it's really set up as something you can take the track and drive it all day. It's not going to not gonna overheat. It's not going to heat sink. It's just going to make power all day long. And the same with the, the suspension system, track, street, both. We have, we can set them up, and I kind of, 
the nice thing is all the suspension pieces are the whole system is integrated so it's a solution and I actually kind of picked the shock spring package for individual customers needs whether it's it's, it's something a street car that takes the track or a track car that takes the street we can come up with a solution that'll serve the needs and that's perfect so if you want to chase down Corvette Z06s on track days give Kenny Brown a call well, the other thing is we can also build you the complete car because this, this would be called a GT4 T. The GT4 is a total performance package. And the, de the letter designation comes from two things. In Europe, GT4 racing is production based. Right. And this has a production architecture, still the struts in the front, the, the three legs in the back, although modified. And it's also, it kind of coincidentally, it's the AGS 4.0 suspension. It's a fourth generation suspension. So it's just like, it all how, how does that the happen? <laughs> but yeah, we can we can we have this. We're gonna have the suspension available at pretty much next month. The uh, turbos in the spring, and by the spring we're gonna be building cars too. Wow! So Kenny Brown Mustangs are coming back. Yeah, and it's gonna be awesome. These cars are beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to have an experience with one. Well, we can't <laughs> wait to get you in one. SEMA this is where you see everything. This is where all the good stuff happens. Um, anything else you wanna add, Mr. Brown? No, I think we did pretty well. All right. Thank you.